AMD will soon be unveiling its new B550 chipset based motherboard for mainstream and budget users and please guys help me out here, have you been waiting for a B550 motherboard to drop? I certainly have even though I've been thinking you know several times this is probably never going to happen. Well I was wrong and in today's video we're gonna look at release date, pricing as well as specifications for the upcoming B550. Is it worth waiting for? Well let's take a look. Hey what is up guys? Well, Welcome to Orbian Hardware, my name is Bob and I'm your Swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent. So with first generation Ryzen processors, AMD also released three different kind of motherboards in three different price ranges, where the X chipset lineup covers the high-end motherboards, the A series being for the entry, and where the B series motherboards being, you know, sort of the best of both, best bang for your buck if you want. And in the last couple of years I probably built a recommended around 10 different gaming PC builds, all of which including a B-series motherboard and I'm gonna keep doing that as they offer great price and performance and I'm actually planning a brand new gaming PC build coming very soon actually, so you definitely want to subscribe. Anyway, B-series motherboard generally offers a great I.O., quality VRMs and plenty of features while not being too expensive. In other words, it's a great pick for anyone building a cheap yet powerful gaming PC. That being said, everything isn't bells and whistles, see a big feature with AMD's new motherboards is PCIe Express 4.0, something that's still only available on the fresh X570 equipped high-end motherboards. Now while some people may argue they don't need PCIe 4.0, many gamers do want to build a gaming PC that's future-proof and therefore this feature can be pretty nice to have. But the problem with these motherboards is first and foremost the price tag. An X570 motherboards are pretty expensive and the cheapest one starts at around $150, but thankfully with B550 models just around the corner, this will soon change guys. And sources at WCCF Tech are revealing that B550 motherboards are actually on the way, where boards with the upcoming chipset gets PCIe Express 4.0 support for a much lower price tag than X570 models. So the question is, when can we expect this? AMD will soon be unveiling the new B550 chipset based motherboards and it turns out AMD is actually shooting for a launch in June with an unveil coming earlier and according to WCCF Tech AMD plans to introduce B550 motherboards on May 21st but it seems like we're gonna have to wait until 16th of June before uh, it's available to purchase and so that begs the question what will be the reason to wait for these motherboards then? Well to understand what features B550 could be getting we need to take a look at its bigger brother X570 first. She also said that earlier this year it was reported that AMD would start mass production of the B550 and the A520 chipset in Q1 2020 and we actually got to see a few revisit B550A motherboards specifically developed for the OEM market. However, these were closer to the B450 chipset in design, offering limited PCIe and 4.0 capabilities compared to B550. Now, another Edge X570 motherboard has over older series of motherboard is that it offers somewhat better support for Ryzen 3000 CPUs and higher speed memory dims. X570 also offers better fine tuning on the BIOS and all in all motherboard vendors still manage to offer lots of reasons to get an X570 motherboard offering high-end variants with powerful VRMs alongside a few additional features that truth be told most gamers maybe didn't care too much about despite paying a premium price tag and this is where the B550 comes in and B550 boards are expected to continue support for better I.O. and come at lower price than the existing X570 options. But to sum this up, the biggest, probably most obvious reason for picking a B550 motherboard will be the addition of PCIe 4.0 support in the end guys. I've been talking about pricing for a long time and so what kind of price range can we expect for B550? So the B550 chipset motherboards would fall somewhere between 80 to 150 US dollars considering the cheapest X570 options are available for around 150 US dollars. But the X470 motherboard still carry good support for Ryzen 3000 CPUs and starts around 120 to 130 US dollars. B450 ships at base motherboards can be found pretty cheap for around 80 to even 60 US dollars. And so as you can hear guys, unless you're specifically looking to build a future-proof gaming machine where PCIe 4.0 is something that you really want 
want, picking a $70 B450 motherboard would be my recommendation and this will give you plenty of headroom for a beefier graphics card. Now another cool thing with the AM4 socket, which by the way all Ryzen motherboard users aim these upcoming B550 motherboards would also be ready for next gen Ryzen, 4000 APUs and even Ryzen 4000 desktop CPUs. And in case you're a bit out of the loop, I actually made a video covering everything you need to know about upcoming 4th gen Ryzen. I'll link that video up down below and I definitely recommend having a look at that one. Uh, anyway, for anyone planning to build an awesome budget gaming PC build, upcoming B550 can definitely be something to consider. Obviously guys, I'm going to follow this up and we're gonna take a greater look at B550 as they launches and so we definitely want to subscribe to the channel. Let me know guys, what do you think about B550? Is it worth waiting for? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, watch either of these two videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'll see you guys in the next one.